All right, we're gonna show you how to install the Lutron smart switches. So in this video, what we're gonna show you is the easiest way to install a three-way switch. Now this happens to be a smart switch, but you don't have to use it as a smart switch. You could just install this if you wanted to install a three-way switch and you wanted to do the minimal amount of wiring. It's super easy. So how this works is uh, we're gonna remove the old switch here, so that's the first step. But uh, how this works is the Lutron smart switches have a radio frequency communicator in them. And that radio frequency communicator will work with the little remote that you've got here. And this is designed so that it can actually be placed right on a wall um, and will look just like a built-in switch. So we took a little piece out there and it slides on to this plastic thing and okay we've got it on and then you can literally install this on a wall like this and it looks identical to a built-in switch you really can't tell the difference um, at all once they're on the wall um, how the cover plates and everything go on obviously it's not quite the same here because uh, I don't have it on a drywall wall but when you install it on a drywall wall it looks built in. You literally can't tell the difference. I've even walked into a building that had these installed and I accidentally took off the wall plate and I didn't realize that uh, there was nothing behind there. And if you have just an empty switch box, you can also just mount this on the switch box. Otherwise, basically all it does is it screws right into the wall and uh, you're able to install this thing super easily. Let me see if I can get this on a little bit more evenly okay there we go and uh yeah that's that's basically how this thing works you can see it here and uh we'll get it set up so that they work but uh yeah that is how the three-way switch operates and it's got a battery in here that lasts like 10 years or something so you don't have to worry about changing the battery and they just communicate via radio frequency and work together so We'll uh, keep installing this here, but that is literally the easiest way to wire a three-way switch. You can install it uh, places that you already have a three-way switch, or if you don't have any kind of three-way switch at all, uh, and you want to install something and you don't want to have to cut holes in your wall, wall to do wiring, you can do this very, very simply. And you can also make it like a three or four-way switch if you wanted. You could just add additional remotes. And we'll show you how it all goes together here in a minute. So. Uh, Remove the cover plate on the existing light switch and then remove the screws uh, holding the light switch onto the junction box. You wanna make sure that obviously the power is off. We've already done that here, but that is important whenever you're working with electricity that you make sure the power is off. So what else is nice about these three-way switches and uh, is really nice is that these smart switches, you can connect them to your home Wi-Fi and internet and be able to use them uh, with your phone or with Alexa, but they do not require a neutral wire. So we've got that second uh, screw here. We're taking that off. Let's just set these other screws aside. And then we're just gonna pull the light switch out and forward so that we can make our new connections here. And uh, now that we've got this, all you're gonna have to do is uh, remove the two existing wires on the side of the existing switch. Uh, this would be the incoming wire, so that's the hot, and this one here, this one you can see goes to the light fixture, so that is the load wire. Uh, what is nice about these three-way switches is that it really doesn't matter which wire, hot or load, goes where, they will work even if you wire them backwards there is no backwards uh, and we take the ground wire off here we've got the ground wire on let's just handle that out so we've got now our ground wire and we have got our two I'm looking here for some wire nuts okay so we've got our ground wire and then we've got the load in the hot wire 
you can see this does not require a neutral wire. This three-way switch does not, I repeat, require a neutral wire, which makes this super easy. So this Lutron three-way system is used in a lot of commercial buildings and a lot of high-owned homes. This is when you go to a custom uh, builder. A lot of times this is the system that they're going to use because it is so simple to install and because it doesn't require neutral, it does save them typically uh, some amount of time. So uh, now I'm just bending these wires back straight. We may trim off a little bit, uh, but we just need to bend these straight so that they can be attached into the, uh, into the Lutron light switch. So the ground wire, we're gonna connect there obviously. And then these two wires, uh, we will connect to the hot and to the load wire. Okay, so we're gonna just connect these right here. We've got one connected there. We're gonna connect the other one here. So get these lined up and make that connection there. So technically, um, you know, it just depends where you're at, but the ground wire um, here, since we do have a ground wire, we will connect it to the ground wire on the light switch. But uh, depending where you're at, some places if you have conduit and a metal junction box, um, you can use that as your grounding. But uh, for sake of practice, we will connect the ground wire and obviously we don't have this in conduit, we just have a metal junction box because that's what was available locally. And uh, we will just trim this down a little bit to make it easier. So we've got our hot and our load and now we are connecting our ground wire. All right, so just connect that with the wire nut here. And we're like pretty much ready to turn the power back on and get this thing 100% installed. So uh, there we go. This thing wound up screwing a little bit too tight there. Well, let's, uh, I don't know why it did that, but we will, you know what, we're just going to take this ground wire and restrip it. I think the inside of this wire nut was not exactly what we needed. So I'm gonna grab another one here. There was some uh, uh, an existing wire left in there from another project I was doing. Okay, so that is good. All right, there we go. Slides right on and we are good to go. So we've got now all of our wires connected. We've got our hot wire, our load wire, and our ground wire connected. And you can see there is a neutral in the switch box. It's back here this white wire, but we don't need it. These three-way switches, these three-way smart switches do not require a neutral. And just in general, these uh, Lutron light switches, these are a really high quality switch. I do highly recommend them. One thing you're gonna notice though, is that any smart switch does have a lot more depth to it than a typical light switch. So you are dealing with some issues sometimes with space in the junction box. So what we gotta do is kinda do a little wire origami, fold those down so that this will go in there nice, okay? Now we've got it in there good. And uh, what I recommend is just taking your time when you are trying to get those wires in the right place and eventually you'll get them where they need to go. But uh, it does help just to take your time and just fold the wires a little bit. So now we're putting on this uh, screw back on the back on the light switch, and hopefully I didn't lose that other screw in all the confusion here. Okay, so we've got one of them on, and now we just need to get the other screw on, and we are going to be ready to get these installed. So what we've got here, throw in the other screw. 
and then we are going to be ready to put on the covers turn on the power and get this working as a three-way switch with the remote and some of you are going to say oh well it isn't a three-way switch because it is not wired together it is it's a completely reliable system it works great like i said this is in a lot of high-end commercial buildings they use this as a three-way switch in conference rooms a lot of high-end residential homes also use this this is one of the preferred methodologies for adding a three-way switch uh, that contractors commonly use rather than um, cutting open your walls and wiring a whole new switch it is very commonly used and uh, a lot of people just don't know about it that are not in the smart home industry or it, that are not electricians. So uh, this is definitely an accepted practice and Lutron is a long-standing brand that does this a lot. So there are a ton of options out there for smart home light switches, of course. You don't have to use this one, but this is the simplest way that I have found to add a three-way light switch without opening up walls and doing all kinds of wiring. And some of you may think that it's easy to do, but uh, when you open up walls and you add wiring, you've got to do patching, you typically have to paint them, and all kinds of other stuff. So I'm gonna plug this in real quick. Now we have the light switch on. I'm gonna turn it off so the, um, the, all right, so I turned off the light switch there because obviously it washes out the camera a little bit too much. But uh, what you do have here is you have on this uh, light switch, you have uh, all the way up, all the way off, but then you can also dim different levels here. Uh, you can go from way down all the way to super bright. So these uh, Lutron light switches are really nice. And the, the key thing with these is that they do not require neutral and installing a three-way switch is super easy. Okay, so now to set up the three-way remote, all we are gonna do is we're gonna hold this bottom button for six to 10 seconds here till it starts to blink and flash and do what it needs to do. Okay, so now it is working. And then here you hold the bottom on this for six seconds and it will connect and there we go okay so now you have a three-way switch you could mount this on existing junction box or you could mount it on the wall just like so and uh, i'll show you how it works so off obviously it's already off i just press on it turns it on over here. I've got full dimming functionality. Um, so I'm gonna put it on and then I can dim down, pressing these buttons down here, just as if I was pressing the on off switch. I can then turn it back up by pressing this and I can turn it off with the three-way switch remote. So this is what I think the easiest way is to add a three-way switch to your house if you don't wanna open up your walls for wiring, which can be a big headache. And this is a very reliable system. The batteries in these remotes last 10 years. And when you have to replace the batteries, all you do is you take the cover plate off the wall, you slide this thing off the remote, um, just like so, and you can replace the batteries on this thing. There's a little screwdriver indentation right there, and you pry it open, put a battery in, but like I said, the batteries on these last 10 years and it lasts 10 years because they use a super low power frequency. So it doesn't drain the batteries uh, very quickly. And that is why they use these in commercial installations. So uh, that is a very easy, simple way to add a three-way switch. So we'll just turn it on again over here and you can see we turn it off over here on this other light remote and you could also just use this as a freestanding remote but uh like i said we'll put a link to the kit here below but when this kit is actually installed on a wall and i don't have it completely uh done the right way i've even still got the instructions and the adhesive pad on here but i don't want to rip it off because i'm actually going to use this somewhere 
But uh, once you have this installed, it really does sit super flat on the wall and you would not be able to tell the difference um, compared to a built-in switch. And obviously there's nothing behind there. It looks a little uh, funky like there's airspace, but on a wall you don't notice that because there is stuff behind there and you will not see any kind of, uh, any. you won't see any kind of uh, edges or anything like that on it. And it does look built in and no one can really tell the difference. So I do highly recommend these as a three-way switch option. This is reliable. And there are other three-way smart switches out there, but this is the easiest way to do it. And it doesn't require you to do any wiring, which can cost you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars by the time you run the wiring, install a new switch, and then patch the wall wherever you had to patch the wall and then paint. Um, and can be very disruptive. So this is a super non-disruptive way that really does give you a permanent three-way switch installation and is why I recommend it. So thank you for watching. Please like this video. Please subscribe. Visit us at onehoursmarthome.com if you want to learn more. Thank you.